Why do they put things like that in the DLCs? It just... That is a really miserable sequence just then. I want to fight... Who, who, the frame rate is shit right now. What was that? Is it going to stop? That's a skelly bob, right? Damn. Come on. What did I just see then? Did they give him a turning move? Or was that just his, his weird movement? Okay. We were apparently not in cover. God, those arrows are programmable death. What a fucking garbage mechanic. I'm gonna find a Japanese person and slap him just for how stupid that mechanic is. He should be sick of his culture. This culture of terrible mechanic making. But then again, these people made Ninja Gaiden too, so... <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised. People forget, right? People forget just how fucking stupid Ninja Gaiden 2 is. They do. Some of the stuff in that game, you know you write it down on paper? You want to eat the paper, it sounds so fucking stupid when you read it back. Whoa! Oh my god, they brought dogs back. Did you see what that dog just did? It just threw a goddamn shuriken at me. It's a bit stupid though, so we're doing okay. Awesome. Ah, animation! I missed. Mr. Popo does not lie. I blocked a bomb? Oh my god, here we go. Oh, I love that move. Alright, where is that dog gone? I'm gonna shoot it in the mouth. I've got a fistful of boomstick for you, doggy. I played Ninja Gaiden too. We were just talking about you, you little shit. Oh, these dogs are nowhere near Ninja Gaiden 2 dogs. Yeah, the dogs in this game are probably a lot more interesting. Cause fuck those dogs. If anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, play Ninja Gaiden 2. Any version as well, because the dogs are a nightmare on both versions, I believe. Because one of the things that make the dogs really annoying is they can grab you. And in Sigma 2, the grabs are instant kills, right? Which just sounds wonderful. A game designed where every enemy tries to grab you at least 50 times every time they blink will make them kill you instantly. Hmm. They were thinking that day, right? So it wants me to climb on top of the, the roof. But I want to find some treasure. There's not been enough treasure for my taste. I want to see some dog treasure. That's the ultimate treasure, right? I thought there'd be another dog. Maybe one behind me? Get me looking at that one, one behind? No? One in the boxes, maybe? Can I execute the dog? God damn, you can execute the dogs! That's cool. Got a cannon. And some roaring ammunition, uh, which is not a word. It's ammunition. Leave me alone, I'm disabled. Using the mist to approach from behind, how deplorable. Says Masamuni's wife. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm gonna show you my sword, my Nippon Steel. Glorious Nippon Steel. Completely racist impression. What is it gonna do? Oh, there is two. Let's go take an arrow to the face. Is there plunge attacks on this game? I forget. Kinda. Oh, did you see it? It had, like, the shadow profile when it lunged. Oh my god, that looks sweet. That's just like Ninja Gaiden. Look at his legs! His legs have got the kunais that uh, Ryu Hayabusa has on his kind of, like, thighs. That's cool. That's a nice little touch. Ninja dogs. <laughs> we made it, guys. We made it to the fun part. When we were first originally designing the ninja dogs, they drove cars, but we felt it wasn't very ninja-like. Here we go. So this does not have the three markings, which means it's not a mimic. And we got some Omnio Mage Locks and a new Kusaragama. 
I wonder if they're going to bring the flails back. Because if you think about what that dog just did, that's kind of like a flying swallow, right? He just kind of flying swallowed me. Hit detection on dogs is kind of tough. Okay, that's a bad door. I'm sorry, Mr. Door. I didn't know you were there, dickhead. Fuck. You wait for a bus and two come along at once. How tough are you? My block is pretty god tier, right, Mr. Man? Pretty god tier. Why is my lock on so bad right now? Oh, it's because I'm locked onto his hand. Dude, the lock on is not working at all. It just doesn't lock on. Can you, like. What the fuck is going on? Can you not lock on to these? Did they change that? I'm unfamiliar with the situation right now. My damage is appalling. I cannot play unlocked on this game. It just doesn't feel right. Just like the Bible tells me. Here we go. He has no stamina. Oh, he must be recovering, I was going to say. No stamina, still manages to do the fucking grab. That was weird. I wonder what they'll do in Neo 2. If Neo 2 does happen, which I imagine it will, I would love to see a system where when they have red in their key bar, they cannot attack. They have to recover it, and the recovery cannot be an attack. And if you're clever enough, and you know them well enough, you can completely mitigate their ability to recover. So good aggressive play is tricky to do, but if you do it correctly, you completely nullify boss fights. I think that would be wonderful. It'd just be nice if all the enemies worked by the same rules that we work by. So I think it'd just lead to a much more fairer feeling game. Oh, hello Kodama. The name of the new Alcest album, by coincidence. Hello, puppy. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, whoa! When suddenly, 57 ninjas appear. This is actually really dangerous. It doesn't look too bad at the moment because I'm actually, you know, a straight god at this game. But this is dangerous on a whole host of levels because of how fast the ninjas can kill you. Like, the only enemy in this game that I'm scared of in multiple groups is ninjas. Because they just have an ability to chase you down like no other enemy can. Look at that. It wrecks them. It's like a stun lock. Still haven't faced a boss yet. I wonder what the first boss is going to be. I've not been able to play this as much as I would like, guys. Because Titanfall 2's DLC's come out. And I, I kind of want to play Titanfall more than I want to play this. And it's not because this is bad, because I think this is really fun so far, except for that one bit with the arrows just then where I, I, I couldn't tell what I was doing. Like, I forget just how much I really love Neo. I think this game's wonderful. And I think this new content is interesting because it's new, you know? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm figuring it out. I'm taking on Mr. Doubleman. Oh, stop, 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 stop. He didn't do it. Interesting. He has multiples of that. That's the fast one. I don't know if you heard that on the microphone, but I completely knew he was doing it and he still hit me. There's his grab. Oh my god, he counter hit it. That was a bad evade, apparently. I thought it was good. It was not good. God damn, that hurt. Hopefully all those ninjas aren't just chilling on the side of this house because I want to fight this guy. Come on, dickhead. Okay, stun me for free then, you bullshit game. There's an extra hit after that. You know what is difficult about this weapon? Breaking the horns. Damn. Oh, maybe not. That was convenient, right? Still hit you. Damn the range on this enemy. That's the multi stab, right? G 
Jesus Christ, this thing's fucking tough. And it's tough because it's even stronger now than it was in those other ones. Ah! Jesus, you've got to earn it, man. You've really got to earn it, unless you, you know, play like everybody else and just have a thousand levels and a million armor and all that other trash that makes this game so stupid and uninteresting to watch. Just a show of hands, guys. I don't know if you're new to my channel. I don't know if you've been here a long time. I don't really... That's not the point of the question, but... When you watch people play Neo, do, do you enjoy watching somebody who has a ridiculously overleveled build with weapons that kill bosses in one combo just essentially mashing down the entire game and in some ways finding that interesting? Is, do you find that fun? Is that interesting to you? Because I love, I, I, I could understand playing, I could understand enjoying the power fantasy of it, because that's what games are all about, right? But from a perspective of somebody watching, I can't see why that would be even remotely enjoyable to watch. Right, you and me now, bitch. Shit. He hit the wall, that was really cool. Ah, the Tonfas! They don't quite sound as ridiculous as they did in Ninja Gaiden 2. I think in Ninja Gaiden 2, the Tonfa sound is potentially the greatest sounding hitting weapon on on the ninjas, you know, on the humans, not necessarily on much anything else, because I, I think it makes a different noise, doesn't it, on the robots. and The Van Gelfs, I think it makes the same noise. Fuck this! Fucking fall down and fight all these knobheads. Why, you eat my asshole. How's your pathing? Uh, it turns out the pathing's pretty good. Turns out my hit detection on this roof is less than stellar. There we go. Can you headshot the dog? Potentially. No, oh, there's two of them. I think I'm going to hit the shrine. Hit the shrine and make everybody fuck off. Because the, the tough thing will not come back, right? Because he is... Where is the shrine? I forget where the shrine was. Oh, that dog's alive? Ow. This roof is making this fight harder than it needs to be. Video game, please. But the movement in this game is so garbage at times. What was that? How did it fall off that roof? He does these weird t turns where he won't turn. Look at this garbage. Turn, you dick. Why is he taking 40 minutes? That's the one area of this game I think Dark Souls is way better. Unless you play Dark Souls 2 and then Dark Souls 2 feels the fucking same. God, it's just like a fatality. That was not a good trade. This is purgatory. Purgatory of my inability to tell where the fuck I am. Nice kunai. The dog just threw a fucking dagger at me and knocked me off a ladder. Where was the shrine? God damn the- Ah, oh, that's a bad man. There's a well thing that goes in the ground. Dude, my- I've just- I can't remember anything in this level, apparently. It's my kryptonite right now. I don't have any more healing juice either. So the next fight's probably my last. Run at me, dickhead. Thank you. Such a stupid enemy, but incredibly lethal when, when necessary. Hmm. There was a shrine, right? I thought there was a shrine. I'm going insane. Don't be spiders. Nobody likes spiders. Do you think this is the boss? It's not going to last very long if it is. Oh, God. <laughs> what is it going to be? A ninja. A super cool ninja. 
None shall pass. Oh, it's the dagger claw man. Yeah. Shinobi no Oh, he's using Tom for two. Tom for on Tom for action. He's wearing eyeliner though. We don't do that. Cool. Cool. Damn! Where's that move in my repertoire? I didn't know if it was an attack or just like a sprint. That's why I didn't dodge. It was a grab. A running, sprinting grab. <laughs> this is going to be interesting.